Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 118 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that by far, one of the big exciting elements of Episode 9 is exactly how both Kylo Ren and Rey are going to be utilized into this story by J.J., George, and Chris, and exactly how Darth Vader is going to be used as a looming figure in the background, and also as a figurative ghost, if you will, that's going to be used as a way to inspire Kylo Ren in this movie. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that it's described that there's a sequence in the first act of the film, where shot descriptions consisting of a sequence based in the first act, where it's described that Kylo Ren is inside of his chambers, holding Darth Vader's melted helmet in his right hand, where he is actually said to be holding it up in a Shakespeare fashion. It's explained that one of the sequences is actually said to involve a moment in which Kylo Ren begins to close his eyes and meditates through the ways of the dark side while focusing on the melted helmet. It said that this helmet of Vader still contains dark side energy, where Kylo begins to hear a voice or whispers communicating with him, telling him the ancient Sith code. Now, it's explained that in secret, that this is not really Vader reaching out to Kylo Ren, but rather Palpatine's Sith spirit posing as Vader, to trick Ren into believing that it is his own blood, who is helping him and guiding him to the dark side further. This is said to be Palpatine's master plan, since he eventually wants to take over Ren's body by the third act of the film, to rule the galaxy as a youthful, powerful Sith Lord. It's said that all this happens as Kylo becomes overwhelmed of the power where he feels the helmet and drops it on the ground where mechanical breathing of Vader can be heard as Kylo opens his eyes and places it back inside of a container. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we do know that Episode 9 is going to feature many different revelations in this film, and what I love so much about this moment is that it really does give new meaning to that scene in The Force Awakens in which Kylo Ren is communicating with Darth Vader's melted helmet. You guys may recall that there is a moment in the film in which we do indeed have, of course, Kylo Ren talking to Darth Vader's melted helmet. And now this scene in The Rise of Skywalker in the first act is going to redefine all of that, is that yes, Kylo Ren actually does indeed hear voices and or whispers reaching out to him, telling him the ancient Sith code, but also at the same exact time, it's not really Vader as Kylo Ren thinks. It's actually in secret, Palpatine's Sith spirit using the melted helmet as a conduit, if you will, to communicate with Kylo Ren. Now, once again, this is very much like a horror film, right? You can see how J.J. Abrams is pretty much taking aspects from horror movies, such as The Conjuring, where, you know, you have, of course, a demon using the doll as a conduit as well. Same exact thing is happening here where we do indeed have Palpatine's Sith spirit using the melted helmet as a conduit because it holds dark side energy. And what I love so much about this is that this really is a very good twist because it tells us that this is yet once again Palpatine pulling the strings in the background even after death to one of the other Skywalker family members. And I think the fact that they're really trying to bring Palpatine back in such a unique way where he's going to be teased in the first act, he's going to grow in the second act, and eventually will blossom in the third act of episode 9, revealing himself as the Dark Acolyte and actually having a host body. So, on top of all of this, this is also said to be a moment in which Kylo Ren becomes overwhelmed by this power, where it becomes too intense, just too much for Kylo Ren to take, where he drops the helmet on the ground and opens his eyes and puts it away inside of a container. Now, this container that Kylo Ren actually holds is actually said to be a thing that holds the melted helmet in there and preserves it, and I'm not quite sure if that necessarily means that it's like a Cairo freeze or if it's some kind of other kind of element that's keeping this melted helmet intact and pretty much in good condition or pretty much you know preventing it from getting any worse 
So the fact that this helmet still holds dark side energy at the same exact time it is a little confusing because we do know that Darth Vader redeemed himself at the very end of Return of the Jedi and that Luke Skywalker burned the suit and the helmet away. So I'm just wondering exactly how there's still dark side energy connected to that helmet. That's a big question open on the table for discussion. The last piece I really want to go over is that we do know that this is all a part of Palpatine's master plan in order to take over Ren's body eventually in the third act of the film because one must be fully embraced with the dark side in order for a Sith spirit to bond with an actual host body permanently. Now, that's a very interesting thing because that basically may very well tell us that the Dark Acolyte could either be not fully associated with the Dark Side, where Palpatine can only take on that body for so long, or maybe vice versa. So anyways guys, I would love to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.